I am Anil Kumar and now let us try to understand what is a periodic function. I will take these examples which are before us and discuss at length about periodic functions. Let us now begin by understanding what after all is a periodic function. Now one definition could be that a periodic function always produces a graph. So we can say periodic function, let me write it down, periodic function produces a graph that has two characteristics. The first characteristic is it is repeating. It has a repeating, I should say, cycle, right? And the second characteristic is that it repeats after a constant interval of time, right? So this repetition happens at a constant or consistent interval of time. So it happens at constant interval of time, right? So that is what a periodic function is, right? Now, remember, a function a periodic function could be given in any form. You could write an equation, you could write a description, right? you could provide a data, right? So whatever. But the result is that when you graph it, then what you see is something which repeats over a constant interval of time. So these are two major characteristics which define a periodic function, right? So so not nothing else is so important as these two, correct? What I'm trying to say here is the function could be of any form. Some students get confused when we talk about periodic function. They think only about sinusoidal functions. They think these are not periodic. Well, that is wrong. Anything that repeats, right? So the function could be of any form that repeats regularly at regular intervals of time. That is called periodic function, correct? And these are the two characteristics. First one is a repeating cycle. So let us look into this particular function, we could say that we have a cycle which starts from here, so it goes up to this point, comes back, and then it repeats, right? So the one which I have highlighted in red is one cycle. So this, this is one cycle for the first wave, right? And it repeats after a regular interval, and that interval seems to be two units. So that is two units in this case. You see that. So after every two units, our cycle is repeating for the first example. So that is why this particular function is a periodic function. Now if you look into the other one, you can also point out what is one cycle, right? You can highlight one cycle. You could start from here and end there, correct? That could be one cycle. And also find what is the regular interval, right? So this interval is also called period of a cycle, right? So that is the time period, time period. And this repeating cycle when we are saying, we are interested in the y values. Do you understand? So we are value, y values are important. When we are saying repeating cycle, how the value of function is changing with time. And when we say time period, then we are actually interested in the horizontal value. Do you understand? The value of the independent variable, correct? So two units is that that horizontal distance, which could be time or anything. So so the independent variable is the constant interval we are looking for, and the pattern which repeats is called one cycle. So that is what is very important to understand. Now as a question, I would like you to provide me with examples. Now, you need non-periodic functions. So, give me examples for non-periodic functions. So, you could write equation or description or data, but the best way is to graph it. Correct? One of the ways I could make these functions non-periodic is by changing these things. That is to say, if I have a pattern which, which, which repeats, but not at regular interval of time, do you see that? So some things it repeats and maybe like this, or 
if I have a function which is kind of increasing, do you see that? Now it may be repeating after, I mean, changes in the maximum value after regular interval, but the cycle is not repeated since the y values are changing. Do you see? It is not the same cycle that repeats. So these are examples of non-periodic functions. Do you understand? So, so if I change this a bit and then do it, maybe, right? Then it becomes not a periodic function because it may change after some time, correct? So the whole cycle which we are looking at should be exactly same over the interval we are considering, correct? So that is the basic concept and let's move forward and understand a few more terms about our periodic functions. Thank you and all the best.